situations that millennials this guy's name is off your wagon i have no idea what you do i have no idea about your content i know nothing about you yeah i mean why would you it's not like i've got well over 700 videos uh you could have perused on the platform that you're posting this video on um you know that might have answered a couple of them questions before you started filming but keep going sure you're gonna do great but when i'm scrolling TikTok and my spidey sense of a victim mentality hits I can't stop. <laughs> My spidey sense is telling me you about to learn who I am. I'm gonna say this straightforward because that's the person I am. You are infected with the victim mentality. I'm gonna say this straightforward because that's the kind of person I am. Interjecting your opinion into subjects you are too simple to understand the nuances and complexity of by parroting dumb shit you heard on your Andrew Tate podcast does not make you a straight shooter. You blamed every factor on that generation. Oh my God, you're so right. Me pointing out, you know, facts and statistics and history of the uh, consequences of policy and voting habits placed on us by the boomers is just so out of line. Hey, since we're on the topic of how it's wrong to blame everything on a generation, I got a homework assignment for you. Go Google how millennials are ruining blank. And then go ahead and take your socks off because I'm going to need you to count how many articles have a title somewhere to that effect. It's a lot. You might need to borrow your kids' fingers and toes too. Ooh, or have you ever seen the millennial anti-theft device bumper sticker with the stick shift pattern? Because when boomers quit buying stick shifts 30 fucking years ago, it's somehow our fault that auto manufacturers don't sell them anymore. Or how many times have you gone gone into a restaurant and to make the excuse for their horrible service they have a sign in the window that says excuse our bad service nobody wants to work anymore it's definitely everybody else's fault that you're a shitty employer who can't find any help and i don't suppose you've ever heard a boomer talk about how lazy and entitled millennials are because of all the participation trophies that they fucking gave us it's definitely our fault that we got participation trophies we never asked for because they were too lazy and incompetent to parent their children through the idea of losing anyway the list goes on and on and on, uh, but TikTok only allots us so much time for a video. I do have a question for you though. Could you go ahead and link me to that video where you called them out for blaming an entire generation for, you know, all the problems in the world, even the ones they made up in their own fucking head? Because I know Mr. Straight Shooter over here isn't just a fucking hypocrite who gets off on victim blaming, you know, that would just be <laughs> ridiculous, right? So let's go down every single thing you talked about and show the victim mentality and the opportunity. <laughs> this will be great. As you can tell from my thinning hairline, the bags under my eyes and the creepy mustache I have, I'm a millennial too. Starting off with some pick me boy energy nice i've worked my freaking ass off to get where i'm at today i'm a father i'm a husband i'm a business owner i'm a real estate investor sorry I i'm all out of gold stars all my successes and all my failures are my fault. Islands in the stream. Give us a fucking break, dude. No, they are not. You see, I too am all those things that you claim to be, except for, you know, the kid thing. I, I skipped that. Been self-employed for, I don't know, I think seven years now. I'm not filming these videos in a fucking public park. I got a couple houses on acreage, so I guess that makes me a real estate investor. Uh, and even with all the toys I have, of which there's, there's a lot, because I... I have a problem with Craigslist and Marketplace. Uh, but even with my college degree and all the stuff I have, um, with the exception of the mortgage on this property, pretty much debt free. I'd go as far as saying I consider myself modestly successful for a person my age with my upbringing. And though I did work hard to get here, and I think I made more good decisions than bad ones, I'm not arrogant enough to pretend that I just bootstrapped my way here and everybody who can't do that is just a lazy piece of shit. The monumental level of hubris you have to possess to pretend that you accomplished anything without luck, support systems, opportunities, privilege that not everybody else has is just fucking asinine. Now, yeah, me growing up, uh, it was rough financially and family stability wise, and I stumbled out into the world on very shaky ground. I'm more self-made than most. I am where I am today because of opportunity, luck, and connections. And yeah, I definitely had to work hard and make good choices to leverage those things. But I also know that if I hadn't been presented with even one of those things, there's a good chance I wouldn't have made it to where I'm at today. And I also know that a great many people never get those opportunities, so they've never had the chance to see the fruits of their labor and make the good choices to get here. And the whole point of my video that got your little panties in a wad is that boomers, through their policy, voting habits, and stewardship, have systematically removed those opportunities or made them harder for people to get than ever before. And this is objective fact. So what your little spidey sense is telling you is victim mentality. It's using my modest platform to speak up for the people who get victim blamed for not having the opportunities that were fucking stolen from them. I am not a victim and what you mistake for victim mentality is called empathy. And honestly with that, I'm fucking done with this. I was gonna go through your whole video here, but you know, you've said nothing of value or merit that I need to address. So since we're a couple guys here shooting it straight, you know what I'm gonna tell you straight up? Cause that's the kind of man I am. Since you bragged about being a father and all, maybe spend a tad less 
time making ego stroking videos hoping to convince yourself that you're the alpha male you project yourself as and spend a little more time working on being a better fucking person for the kids.